Britney Spears slams another one of her exes, plus Janelle Monet discusses their gender on Red Table Talk. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your music roundup, and it's Friday, so we have some new music out to chat about. First, let's start with Megan Thee Stallion and her newest single, Plan B. After giving fans a snippet of the track during her incredible Coachella performance last week, the full-length single is now available to stream. The Texas native opened the song to address an old lover and his harmful ways, but Meg encourages women to be independent and love yourself, ultimately making it a full-blown women empowerment anthem. Have you guys listened to the song yet? Let us know what you think in the comments. Now let's jump into Janelle Monet and the Red Table Talk interview. Yesterday, the singer came out as non-binary while on the show and said, quote, I just don't see myself as a woman solely. I feel all of my energy. I feel like God is so much bigger than the he or the she, and if I am from God, I am everything. In addition to saying this, Janelle made it clear that they will always stand with women, but they see everything that they are beyond the binary. You might also recall that the I Like That singer came out as pansexual in 2018. But shout out to Janelle for living their truth, I am here for it. All right, and now on to Britney Spears because she is calling out another one of her exes and this time it's not Justin Timberlake. Yesterday, the pop star dropped a bomb and claimed that her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, refused to see her while she was carrying his child. In a now-deleted Instagram post, Britney opened up about her recently announced pregnancy and said she doesn't care for the nausea associated with it. But while explaining this, she brought up how she was worse off during her first two pregnancies with her quote, mean moods, and that's when she called out Kevin for allegedly not going to see her. Recall Britney officially filed for divorce from Kevin on November 7th, 2006, two months after they welcomed their second son, Jaden. We should also note that Brit did delete this post, so who knows what's really going on here, but hopefully it will all be revealed in her upcoming tell-all book. But until then, be sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs, and don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Have a good weekend, guys.